Green Days is an absolute institution uh, in Bedford Park and is part of, of Chiswick. It's part church fate because it's organised by St Michael and All Angels. Uh, it's got a beer tent, it's got refreshments, it's got lots of live music. Uh, we have cookery demonstrations, uh, we have lots of events for children. There's a children's corner, there's a fancy dress competition, there's five-a-side football. And it's where everybody meets everybody, uh, families, friends, people just come come back because they love it. So why Green Days? Why is it called Green Days? It was called originally Village Green Day and there was only one. Um, in the 1990s it turned into two days because they decided to order marquees and if you're going to order the marquee you might as well use it over two days ra rather than one. So that's when it became Green Days. But it was set up by the Vicar of St Michael's. A new vicar came along. Uh, believe it or not, Bedford Park in those days was a run-down area. Very unfashionable uh, Victorian houses and they were, be, they were being knocked down, there was a hole in the church roof and his prime motive was to foster a community spirit, to celebrate the arts but also to make money, uh, to raise money for the repair of the church roof. So he got together with the Bedford Park Society which is the organisation that was trying to protect the houses uh, and between them they launched the festival in 1967 uh, and it's become an institution and it's been there ever since. So looking through these old photographs, who is this man up a tree and why is he up a tree? That is is the first festival and that is Alfred Burke who nobody now remembers but was uh, the star of the top ITV uh, drama series of the time uh, Public Eye as a detective series and he's opening the festival and he's opening it from a tree because they don't even have a stage so in the local paper it says from a suitable or the only suitable vantage point so he climbs up a tree so that actually everybody can see him which is so charming and uh, we might try that again, but I think it's unlikely. So among the recent celebrities we've had is Sophie ellis Spexter, who lives locally, but she was glad not to have to climb up a tree. Absolutely. We now have a proper stage and a proper microphone, and of course it was fantastic having her there. Uh, and these celebs really give it an aura of, um, of celebrity, which is what they're there for. So uh, we've, had, we've had Jeremy Vine, last year we had Fergal Keane. Uh, we've had very distinguished journalists uh, like John Humphreys and Raggy Omar. Uh, we've had a real mix uh, of people. But what's your old mate? From the BBC, then. All my old mates from the BBC, you do sometimes try and call in uh, a few favours. Uh, but what's been fascinating looking back over the 50 years and all the newspapers is Hayley Mills opened it a few years ago. Sarah Green, who was on Saturday uh, Swap Shop and those children's uh, programmes. Uh, and lots of them are going to come back because we're inviting everybody who's ever opened it to come back for the opening on, uh, on, on Saturday, June the 11th. Above all, we're going to have uh, this photo sharing um, exercise, so there will be a website where people can upload their own photographs. We've already got almost 200 up there already, but they can also upload their comments. This was the first programme uh, in 1967, and uh, it talks about the fun of the fair and more throughout the day. Roundabout sideshows, all-day special contests, children's events, folk dancing, balloon race, a grand fashion contest. Uh, it was a judge by Cynthia Figg, who was the fashion editor of Woman magazine. In those days, they had a baby show. Now, it's bad enough for the judge who has to decide the um, uh, children's fancy dress these days, but can you imagine trying to judge a baby show when all you're looking at is the babies. People really love the fancy dress and we always have a theme. This year's theme is um, Queens and Kings because it happens to be uh, the Queen's 90th birthday celebrations that weekend so we're also having Chiswick's biggest street party because we're there and we might as well. Um, but uh, a lot of work goes into those costumes.